three, two, one. I'm Faith Hanna, and my call sign is Alpha Echo Four Foxtrot Hotel. And my call sign is Kilo Mike Four India Papa Foxtrot. And my name is Hope. I'm Zechariah WX Four TVJ. And I'm Grace Kilo Mike Four Tango X Ray Tango. And welcome to Ham Radio Dot World. Alpha Antennas has sent us their Alpha Loop, which is an antenna they make, to give a review on it, and it's very easy to make, and we built it a few times just to make sure we could make it correctly and understood how to make it, and we did find out that the instructions, the first time you read them, they seem a little bit weird, but um, in a few minutes, you'll understand them very easily, and you'll find out that it's very simple to make. So, let's start making it. So, first, you take out the stand, which looks like this, and you pull off the legs. We'll let the camera see. And you might want to need to push it down with your palms when it's on the ground. Once it's about this height, this, like this, then you should be able to stop. And then, you take out the box-looking thing, it's called, a match called box. a matchbox. And you screw you that screw on. It on. It'll be kind of wobbly until you figure out how to get it on there, then it should screw on nicely. Once you get it finger tight, finger tight because it's aluminum, it's easily stripped, then you will put on this one, which is called a handy stick. You screw that onto the matchbox, and, and then you loosen the, the top on the knob things, pull this up, and then you do the same with the other. With the other. And so now you right. unscrew this bolt thing, kind of like a screw inside plastic covering. You take and it you off. take the small loop and you stick it in just until like, it snaps. Until it makes a small snap. And you try to align this with the stick. That looks about good. Then you put in the bolt another time to, to keep it from falling out. Then you're going to straighten out this. You have to kind Absolutely. of straighten it. It's a big coax loop, it looks like, and you hang it right on, on top of the other. And you screw in the ends to the matchbox where the connectors are on the sides. Okay. Then now, you try to now center you try to center it, it and make by a looking circle. at it. It's easier to look at it from a distance, so I'm just going to put that there so we can look at it. So it looks like it needs more coax over here. Mm -hmm. A bit more bent here. We try to make a circle that is even, and that looks good. That looks about good. Now so you're going to take the Velcros and Velcro the two loops together. Up at the top, dead bolt. Once you get to know the instructions, you can do it in about three to five minutes. Now, it might be a good idea just to check things to make sure they're right before you attach it to your radio. And you can put it a little higher by lifting a latch over here, pulling it up, and putting the latch back so it can get a little higher. Now, this is a little You can bit. take coax and put it here. And then attach that coax to your radio, and you have an antenna. Also, for tuning, this is small enough that it can go right next to your shack if you're like outside, and you can tune it to, to um, help with the frequency and your tuning stuff. Yeah, there's a little knob right here that is like a built-in tuner. You tune it to where you get the best SWR for the frequency that you want to operate on. It, ha it doesn't quite stop when you're at the end of its tuning range, so it will make a little harder area to get at. Like around here, it's kind of hard. Right here is where it catches. So you don't want to go farther than there. Or you might accidentally break it. Then for taking it apart, you just do the same steps, just backwards. 
Last night, I was able to hook it up to our radio and make some contacts. The bands were dead, so I only got a few. However, I talked to Tennessee, North Carolina, and Virginia, and most of them had a true 5'9 or plus. I also worked a friend across the street, which was, of course, a very strong 5'9. So now we're going to hook it up to our radio and make some contacts.